is up guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Emily Swift and I am a portrait and fashion photographer based in Connecticut. And today I am going to be shooting all film in studio with my strobes. And I'm gonna kind of walk you guys through my process, give you some of my tips and tricks, and I'm super excited. So we are going to be shooting 35, 120, and 4x5. So I'm gonna be shooting my Canon Rebel 2000, Hasselblad 500C, and my Crown Graflex. So last time I shot with my 4x5 in studio, I just used the available light, and I get really nice natural light in here because my windows are huge. However, they just came out a little muddy. I'm not really digging how my color film is coming out. So I'm gonna be shooting black and white, and I'm also gonna be adding lighting in to help complement my natural light. And I'm gonna try something new today, so fingers crossed that it works out. I am going to load my 4x5 film because um, last time I shot 4x5, I loaded it with the model here, and I realized that that was kind of silly because it takes a long time. Um, so I'm gonna be shooting a Restate EDU 400. I shot two frames of this film, and I loved the result. So we're gonna shoot that again. So when I load my 4x5 film, I do it in the dark bag and I wear these ridiculous gloves um, <laughs> because they are lint-free gloves and um, they don't really fit me very well and I find it a lot harder to load with gloves on than just going out at bare hands, but I got a lot of fingerprints on my last uh, two frames that I didn't load with gloves on, so we're using these. B and H, you gotta come out with like some lady-friendly sized Went free gloves. Hello, everybody. Okay, guys, let's shoot. So whenever I'm shooting film in studio with a model, I always like to start with 35 millimeter because a, it's the cheapest, B, it's the quickest, and it just helps you kind of feel out the vibe, feel out the set. So I have one light set up, camera right, and it's about at a 45 degree angle, and I have it slightly pointed down at the model because I feel like this is always going to make her cheekbones pop and look beautiful. So the way that OG photographers would test their light is by using a Polaroid back if they were shooting medium format. What I do, since uh, Polaroid film is so expensive, is I just meter with my digital camera. Why not utilize the resources we have now? I don't own a light meter. I think that they're ridiculously expensive. And I have a camera that has a meter on it, my digital camera. So before I start shooting film, I attach my transmitters and everything to my digital camera, take a few frames, check out the light. If it checks out, then we're ready to start shooting film. So I'm currently shooting with a 24 to 105 and I am sitting on the floor because when I shoot wide, I like to shoot up at girls because it makes them look nice and tall and who doesn't want to look tall in their pictures? All right, all right, we're all warmed up. We know what's up. We shot our first roll of 35. Now let's get into the serious stuff, the medium format. So right here, I am loading a roll of Kodak Very Color uh, number three, I believe it is. Um, this is film that my landlord actually gifted me. He used to work as a professional photographer and he found this in his house just laying around. And I haven't shot a roll of it yet, so we are gonna try that out today. So shooting strobes with my Hasselblad is kind of a whole process. So you can see behind me that I have a flash right behind my Alien B. And I do that because my Alien B is broken. The sync port doesn't work. So I have to set it on slave and then fire it with the flash, which is all fine and good, except for the little connection port to plug my transmitter into my Hasselblad, the connection ain't always it. And sometimes it just doesn't fire. Like actually right here, is when it I fired and it didn't go off and I was so mad because this is out of production film yo you only get as many shots as you can get there's only 12 on a roll so when you lose one or two like that's a good chunk of the roll so what I actually started doing was taking the back off resetting the frame and then reshooting over the same frame to hopefully actually get those shots back Oh, 
don't look. I left my dark slide in. <laughs> I'm a photographer. I swear I know what I'm doing. <laughs> say I wasn't too completely thrilled with how this role came out the film is just very old there was some fogging on the uh, left side that you can see and it was so grainy even though it was such a low ISO but hey that's just part of the fun of shooting expired film is you don't really know what you're gonna get and the results are gonna probably be less than perfect and that's part of why I always make sure to shoot it, just to kind of keep myself out of the perfectionist mentality. It helps me appreciate different creative aspects that happen when you take risks and shoot weird film. So quick posing tip, if you ever have a girl on her side like this, tell her to sit on her hip and bring her top knee over so that it's touching the ground. And that's really going to accentuate her top curve and make her look so beautiful. <laughs> All right, enough of that very color. Now let's shoot some of my favorite film stock, some good old Delta 3200. I find that I get the best results from this film when I rate it at 800 and develop as normal. This next roll, I put the white seamless back down and I wanted to try playing with some gels and I was shooting um, expired portrait 800. So I wanted to have this spotlight on her face and have just her surrounded with the pink. So it took a couple tries to get this all set up, but it was pretty cool and it was fun to try something new. And it was also nice to not have to deal with my strobe. So I'm gonna put you guys onto something real quick. Don't ever spend money on a snoot. The snoot that I made for this LED light here is literally just my throwaway seamless paper <laughs> that I otherwise would have just thrown in the trash. But literally, you can make a beautiful snoot out of literally just seamless paper. And in hindsight, I wish I made it a little bit longer so that the circle was a little bit more intense because honestly, I really just wanted it to go across her face, but it kind of went across her face and on her neck, but it's all right. Pictures still look cool, so I'm happy with it. So in high 
hindsight, I really wish that I overexposed this film a little bit more. The negatives came out pretty dense. I did push them when I developed them also, but still really, really dense. And when I skinned them, I got these weird lines all across it. I just think because of the integrity of the film. Like I said, this is super expired film. I'm not actually sure of the date, but hey, I'm so happy with how they came out. And I did decide to leave the dust on because I thought it kind of added to the ethereal feeling with this lighting. Uh, usually I edit that out, but I actually really didn't mind it with this set. for my five camera that I was so excited to shoot and like I had mentioned earlier when I shoot with just natural light with this camera it comes out kind of muddy so what I ended up doing was taking these two LED lights that I have and I bounced them into my soft box that is my strobe so here I am taking off my beautiful snoot that is literally just a piece of paper so I angled them in like this and honestly it gave me a lot of light so I was able to shoot this at a slightly higher shutter speed than usual again I was shooting the Arista EDU 400 and I believe my shutter speed was something like um 1 over 100 or something like that and usually I, with the natural light I'm getting shutter speeds closer to like 1 over 40 so I was really excited to get something faster and a more beautiful light on my model without having to worry about strobes again because I don't think there's any way to set up a strobe to this camera and if there is I just have not figured it out yet because I am still pretty new to large format. So here I am locking the shutter open so that I can focus. <laughs> Before I pull the dark slide all the way up, I always check the front of the camera to make sure that the shutter is now closed and ready so that I don't just completely expose the film when I pull the dark slide out. <laughs> subscribe down below, leave me a comment if you want to see more videos like this, and I will catch you guys next time.